If you know, you it's know. Rich B. It's Rich Beans. It's RBZ. It's Kalia. Hello, it's Kaya. It's your boy, Trey B. Carr, a.k.a. Trey. 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 Already asked for another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Hello and welcome to another episode of Another One. Hello, people. We are back with a new episode and a new topic. Now, I'm going to tell you what. On this week, our new topic, it seems as if it's going to be a little too long for one episode. So what our intent is to break this down over the next couple of episodes um we got a little mini series coming at you exactly a mini series what's a the mini series a what a series a, a series hmm. yep. all right so what's the topic going to be about it is going to be about starting a family business and what it takes to run a family business and what all goes into managing on a day-to-day basis what a family business is and why is that relevant this month and why is that relevant somebody please tell me why is that relevant next month is a uh, small business appreciation month i believe so that's why we're doing this we want to make sure that we are giving you information adding value to your life helping you to achieve your dreams your goals your aspirations and so that's why we're here and hopefully that's why you come to us for every episode that's why you listen to the topics and things that we um give to you because you want the value add that team b's brings we're here for you and we're here for it because we want to give you our experiences and the things that we have been through in creating our small business so after the break we will get into the nitty gritty after nits to grits. After the break. Hey guys, Rich B's here, co-host of the Another One podcast and owner of Dynamic Works. Here to tell you guys about the great feedback we get when it comes to our filming and video editing. So you know we have separated the two, meaning now you can film your own video footage, send it to us, and let us put the 12 plus years of experience and design to work for you and your project. We can also add motion graphics, color correction, and VFX to your footage to get that enhanced professional look that will captivate your audience. Head over to dynamicworks.com or email us at info at dynamicworks.com. We are looking forward to bringing your project to completion. Simple, clean, dynamic. Dynamic Works. All right, so you are listening to this episode because you want to start a small business and your small business that you want to start is preferentially a family business because we are family advocates. Teamwork makes the dream work. And uh, sure does. <laughs> Eases <laughs> up the pain off of one person. You know, so why not come together in unity and create something for your children's children, right? That's the whole thing. That's what we want to do. So with doing that, we will be talking about topics such as starting a family business, how to manage a family business, ways to grow a family business, and working with family. Key key points in your endeavors in your small business endeavors these are key points that you need to know but i figure how can we give these people advice on this stuff you know you might be like who is team b's but i think at this point if you got to this episode you should know a you little might be bit. a new fresh listener you know what yes and if you are a new fresh listener let us introduce ourselves actually yes we, we are, are team b's, b's. <laughs> And you know what? That would have been so good if we had all participation. (laughs) It looks like we only have three members of Team B's in the house. The unfortunate thing is, 
Y'all don't be trying to introduce yourselves. <laughs> Did you retire the phrase? No, the phrase will never be retired. Okay. That's right. It's just that, like I said, you all don't try to introduce yourselves. So what are our qualifications to let you know about how to work with family and how to start a business? So if you didn't know, and now we're talking to the listeners, if you didn't know, we have multiple businesses um, that we've started Uh, Some have been in existence for longer than others, Um, but they all are small businesses that the family puts in their um, talents, treasures, and likeness, funds. That's fact. That's what treasures is. Like like we talked about before in the last episode, you're not an entrepreneur if you you don't risk your money. And now that's true. <laughs> that, that at least that's what we found out last episode. <laughs> so if you didn't hear that, go back. You can definitely get some good stuff out of that episode. Nugs. Yeah, look, oh, look, some nugs. Nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have businesses that are creative. Um, I think I think every business we have is a create creative style business. Is that right? Do we have any yeah. that's not creative? No, there's no way that anything we do cannot be creative. So, yeah, that's true. Answering your question, that is true. Um, we have some, you know, there's one business. Okay, so let's 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 go through them man, and give them a sense of the businesses that we have. Now, I know that you have been a listener for a while, and since you have, that means you've heard numerous commercials uh, for the businesses that we have actually. So, one of them, the major business out of this whole thing <laughs> is the commercial that you probably hear religiously which is dynamic works so dynamic works is a design and multimedia branding business yes, so yes. in that business we create websites we create um designs Graphics, we create logos, logos um, and when i say designs actually it's not just graphic design it's also sound design Mm, didn't think of that huh but we do and we do uh, voiceovers for different clients Um, we do uh, commercials we do ads there's a whole lot of things that we do within dynamic works but it's all creative to help other people's dreams come to fruition i think that's the major thing across all boards with um our uh, businesses I think they all help somebody else to be able to get their dream out. Right. To, to achieve their goal. Yeah. Whatever that goal is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we've recently started uh, a new business. And when we say recently, you know, maybe within the last year and a half, um, there's a new business that we have that's called Indie Branding. Woohoo! Headed yes. up by a member of the team, Trey BZ. Tell, 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 him, tell him a little bit about He's the, in his business The indie stands. branding <laughs> <laughs> You should see him guys He's over here He got his, he got his uh, legs crossed Just kicking it up Like he's some You know High end <laughs> business owner Go ahead Tell him about your business he Tell, just him, tell him about seat. indie branding Tell him about I'm telling them about Our business <laughs> That's right Our <laughs> business so Because it is a family business. business Keep that same energy <laughs> <laughs> No but um yeah, indie branding is basically just a company that works with musicians and um, artists to um, create the best visuals and things that will um, appeal to the eye of the listener. So uh, that's that's honestly the um, main, like you talked about with Dynamic Works, that's mm-hmm. really the main thing overall, just to make stuff that appeals to the eye. Because when it comes to um, trying to attract new listeners and trying to um, attract clients, it really, it's, yeah, you might have people that um, have some good referrals and all of that, but when they go to your page and they see these little graphics that looks like they're made in Microsoft Paint, I really, I really don't know if that's going to be the best way to market yourself and for you to continue to grow as um, a business or an artist. So basically, you are making their music visual. Correct. Connecting the dots between the sound and the visual. That is correct. So indie branding, is that kind of like a play on the indie artists that you appeal to or that you work with? 
Is that where that came from? Yes, that, mm-hmm. that is. And if I'm correct, does indie branding stands for new dynamic, right? Mm. New dynamic works, branding. Yes. Yeah, because we wanted to get into the indie market, you know, yes. and get into the music scene. Um, not just because we want to be in the music scene, but because that's a whole market that is being um, plagued okay. with bad graphics for indie people because they can't afford it that's so true so we wanted to make a um a certain level right a certain level of quality for people at a lower, lower entry point, point. Yep. Yeah. so basically you're getting um the quality you deserve at a price that, that you don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> so um so, yeah, so basically um we just create um music videos lyric videos um, cover art, everything Social that you media need stuff. as an artist. Yep, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. what's up. Whatever it takes to brand your next EP, or yeah. just that's promote a mixtape. You yep. know, and it's even single. if even if you're going to perform and and you need visuals behind your um your stage performance, that's also something that we can um, design for you. If it can be designed, indie branding. And Dynamic Works can make that happen. Yeah. You know, at, at very reasonable prices. Well, so, I'm just curious as to how Dynamic Works as a whole came about. Like, I get what you're saying with the service that Dynamic Works provides. But, you know, how how did that come to be? Are you playing the listener right especially, now? Especially as a family-owned and operated business. So Dynamic Works was started about 12 years ago, and um, it started because I realized that there was a need. Um, The need was that people were doing um, production in the church world bad, very, very bad. And with that um, need and, and me being able to see that need, I realized I could feel that need. Now, as the business started to progress, you know, at the time, the kids were young. And being that they were young, you know, they started expressing interest in various things that they wanted to do. You know, Kaya wanted to um, edit videos for herself and start her own YouTube channel. Um, Kalia wanted to do uh, fashion design. Um, you know, Trey was just all over the place. He wanted to do, you know, uh, filming. He wanted to do... Uh, making games he wanted to you know do all kinds of things and so um what i wanted to do was actually um point each of them in the right direction so it didn't start off as you know they just jumped in and were part of the business because the very first thing that i wanted to make sure i did was to build up what they wanted to do in the area that they wanted to do it and so as they learned and grew, then you, you know, I already knew at the beginning that those things that they wanted to do were already part of the business that I was starting and growing. You know, each piece was something that went towards the bigger plan. So that was that that's how the business actually came together and started to grow as I start teaching and growing them. And so with Dynamic Works in the near future, we have a lot of things coming on tap that touches each and every part of the things that I just spoke about plus more I think that's um interesting how you spoke about how dynamic work started and I think at the epitome of really every business successful business it begins with um that specifically which is there's a need and you thought you could fill the need and so that's a good place to start I also think that what's interesting is that with the three kids, it didn't just, the seed wasn't just planted with the YouTube channel or even um, the wanting to be a fashion designer or a video editor, but it was just planting seeds of having your own and establishing your own streams of income and, um, 
helping them to realize the importance of making sure that you have a, uh, a, a, not a gift because you know we all have gifts, but mm-hmm. um, a trade or or a, a way that you can profit off your talent, right? And so the kids <laughs> have had um, lip gloss. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm creating lip about gloss. This is Trey <laughs> got a whole bunch of of um, zippers Zip and was supposed oh to have gosh. like bow ties made out of zippers. I mean, it's so many things that we have encouraged the kids to do just because we never wanted to them to be dependent on a system. And the right. more that we have learned and understood the importance of this, we've shared that with them. And I think that when you have a family business, when that's your foundation, the way that you approach a family business is a little bit different than when you just look at it being just a pastime type hobby thing right. that, you know, I can do this or I can't do this or, you know, okay, I can do this or I can just go get me a, a nine to five, you know, right. right. And your while, approach is different. Right. While that's like a fine thing. So we're not like anybody who starts their own businesses and it's just like a little hobby thing. That's fine. And then it ends up making you money and then you're able to quit your day job and then you're able that's fine. We're just saying that living from a place like this has worked for us and it might work for you as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely can and does because it works for a lot of people. Um, and, you know, if you're thinking about dipping your toe into the sea of just one self ownership, <laughs> then. <laughs> You know, come back these next couple of weeks and keep listening um, because we're going to drop a lot of nuggets and we're going to make sure that we get across the different points that it takes to build and start and manage and grow and work with your family in a family business because it can it can get it can be a lot of tension, um, but it can also be a lot of reward. So. Make sure that you come back. Make sure that you keep up with us. Um, because like I said, we want you to be successful. We want to add value to your life and to your kid's life. And, you know, I believe that you can do it. So with that being said, I want to let you know about the other businesses. But I also want to reserve some of this information that we have to be able to bring it out in the in the coming weeks. OK, because we have more businesses than that. But we just hit two of the main ones. All right. So. Come back, check us out. This has been the coolest family in podcasting. And on the internet, period. Team Bees. We We out. out. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Team Bees. To keep the show going, partner with us at teambees.com slash partner. We out.